Hi, YouTube. William Barry here coming at you live. So I've had a strange, a strange situation happen to me. Something that was actually very empowering and very informative. I got to play in high elo for a little bit. So I went on a massive win spree in flex queue. Uh, my, my flex queue is currently sitting at silver two. I, well, at, yeah, silver two. I went from silver three to silver two and I did, did nothing but win game after game i think i was like on a nine to ten game win spree and for some i don't know what was happening maybe it was the time of day i was playing or something i can't i can't honestly tell you but i started playing against platinums and i kept beating platinums um and then out of nowhere i played against some t um, diamond players and then i started beating some diamond players so my mmr skyrocketed and i feel like i was about to like jump a division or two i don't know if you can do that in flex queue um, but it didn't happen, which was kind of depressing. I mean, I was getting like 27 LP a win consecutively over and over. And I was like, I think when I lost one game, I lost like eight LP. It was fucking crazy. Um, but anyway, what had happened was eventually I went in, I, I found myself in a game where I was the only player that wasn't diamond. Here I am a former, uh, a gold player sitting at silver two ranked in flex queue against an entire enemy team of diamonds and there's four diamonds on my team it was a fucking stressful situation my heart was pounding um i didn't know how the fuck i got there they didn't know how the fuck i got there i was playing completely solo because i play everything solo including flex queue um and what had happened was when i went into this game i had the biggest eye-opening experience one i went in there and as soon as i log um, realized they were all diamond and I get a message, the game boots up, and my, my jungle says, how the fuck are you in this game? And I was like, I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I'm on a huge win spree. I don't know how the fuck I'm here. We were also playing at like 7 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, so there probably wasn't a lot of people on either. Because when I checked, my MMR was at plat 3. And it, it just probably put me in the closest thing to plat 3 they could find. Even though I'm silver too. Which is fucking absurd. So flex key was all over the fucking place. I can't tell you. But what had happened was, I apologized. I was like, guys, I'm, if I'm going to fuck this game up, I'm sorry. I'm going to fuck this shit up. I'm way out, out, outscaled here. We go into lane. We get fucking destroyed. I get auto field support. I'm playing Thresh. As soon as, like, we get turret dove, Jinx starts getting fucking pounded by axes. I do what I can. She dies. And then I rush back to lane. Not even enough to buy two potions. She dies again. And then I die. And then I come back in, and luckily at this time, our mid lane started getting fucking care, um, started fucking getting fed as fuck. He did a couple realms bot lane, and then it put us back in the game. All in all, um, the whole time I was playing, I was apologizing to my team that, like, you know, if, if they had any other support, a uh, plat support, <laughs> they'd be doing better. Um, and then out of nowhere, we started, you know, our, our, our mid laner who was playing Pantheon started getting really fed, started doing really well. He started roaming all over the goddamn map. And he snowballed the fucking game out of control. Uh, and so I, I, I recognized him as my win condition. And I just followed him where the fuck he went. And I did everything I could to keep him alive. And we fucking dominated. And I ended up, by the time the game was over, I got an S rank. Um, I had like the most assist in the game. And I was just fucking dry humping that guy as much as I could whenever my ADC wasn't around. Like if she was off like farming something by herself top lane, I was with that Pantheon. I was I was following him and we did everything we could. And when the game was over, I got, I got a couple honorable opponents. And I, some people were even very kind to me. And it was, a, it was an awesome experience. And then I played a couple more games in Diamond MMR, and then I started losing a few, and it went down. But my experience overall in that high elo was outstanding. N never once did people flame me for missing a flay or a hook. No one ever fucking lost their mind when I, I did something that was questionable. Like, maybe they, they assumed I was going to do those things, but even when I started doing really well... Like, our, our Trendomir even commented, like, he's like, you're probably doing one of the best on the team. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? Now, obviously, I got carried. There's no other way around that. That Pantheon was on fire, and he was the reason we won that game. Had he not, get fe uh, not, had he not got fed, we might have lost, because every other lane was losing. He just was so fed that when he got to that lane, he would dumpster anyone in it. And then everyone started picking up the steam from that, and we won the game. But what I'm really getting at here was when I was in those high MMR games, 
there was no toxicity. The enemy team wasn't flaming because Pantheon is broken. Um, no one was talking shit. It was just a good game. It was it was a it was a good experience that taught me a lot. And I loved every second of it. I dream of getting back there for two different reasons now. I've always wanted to play against my favorite YouTubers. I know I can't actually be friends with G Bay and Sky Williams and all these people because they're fucking popular. They're they're League of Legends stars. I could never actually be friends with these people. Um, I mean, look at me. I'm a lowly little fucking person with 100 subscribers. But if I got to play against them, that would be incredible. You know what I mean? Just to to get to lane against G Bay, someone I've been watching for two years, or get to actually be in a Sky Williams video trying to fuck up his shit. I think that would just be awesome. I mean, it'll never be uploaded, but could you imagine? That just sounds awesome. The fact that like when these high elo players get together, they they all know one another just based off of their play style, right? Now that's fucking awesome. And when you break it down, the main reason I want to get there, though, aside from my fan voyage, is I just want to play in an MMR bracket that isn't toxic, that isn't fucking fighting nonstop with one another, isn't cussing each other out for missing Smiter. You know, people understand. People make mistakes. Now, I'm, I guarantee you there's toxic people in higher ELO games. Like, there's toxic people no matter what you do. You could walk into a church and find someone that's an asshole. Actually, most people that go to churches are assholes, but let's leave. Mm, let's not touch that. Um, but what I'm trying to say is, like, even the best of people have the worst of times, right? Like, and when it comes down to it, what can we do to improve our community? Well, nothing. All we can do to improve our community is improve ourselves. Change starts at the individual. So if we want our community to be better, if we want our community not to be labeled the most toxic community out of everything, like more people will get along with Nazis than people that play League of Legends. That's fucking absurd. I don't like being more toxic than Call of Duty and fucking Halo. I'm sorry, I, I just don't like it. And I don't like being, being told that I'm a fucking nigger because I picked Garen Top. How, why are you picking Garen Top? Pick Darius, you fucking nigger. Okay, one, you don't even know what color my skin is. Why are you saying that? And two, you should really drop the R. Stop using it as an insult. Like, what the fuck are you doing? And then if you reply to them in any way, kill yourself, faggot. Kill, your, kill yourself, faggot. Faggot. And it's, it's just so fucking bad. Like, why is this our community? Why is this, why is this okay? I'm sick of it. And so I'm going to start the change that I can. I can't control other players. I mean, if I did, uh, we wouldn't have Teemo mains. And everyone that was top lane would main Riven, and I'd just keep going Garen and keep winning. I'd be diamond in no time. Uh, I can't control other people. I can control myself. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to make what changes I can in my, my behavior. I'm going to consciously um, not be toxic to the people that I play against or play with. And if I find that I'm going to start being that way, I'm going to mute them out of my own, my, my desire to improve myself. And if more people start looking inward, we could find ways to improve our community. Or if Riot started getting really serious with that ban hammer, we might be able to fix some of this shit storm. But that ain't gonna happen. They need them people that make that money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, yeah you know what I'm saying. So this is a more serious video. But uh, it's one that I really hope catches on with, with a handful of people. If, if, if 10 people watching this video start improving the way they play this game and stop flaming other people or calling people retarded or telling people to kill themselves, we, we might start a fucking movement within the league community to start being better. And if you know you can't be better, at least mute everyone so no one has to hear your bullshit. Thank you for watching. William Barry. Peace the fuck out. And before I go, you make me randy, baby. Yo, reminiscing, but I don't trust my memory no more. So I'm cursed to face whatever bitter mysteries are stored in my conscience.